All right, what's going on guys? It's Epoxy and here we're making a video on a very common issue with Fallout 3 on PC, specifically the Steam version of the game. And that is when you go to launch the game, this is the error that you get. Fallout3.exe ordinal not found. The ordinal 43 could not be located in the dynamic link library. And then it gives us a directory to the system32 xlive.dll file. Now the reason for this error is simply the game depends on something that is no longer included with Windows. That being Games for Windows Live. So in order to get Follow 3 working, even if you have a Games for Windows Live disabler, or if you have FOSE which disables Games for Windows Live, you're still going to need the Games for Windows Live files on your PC, which are no longer included with Windows. So in order to fix this error, it's actually quite simple. Now thankfully Microsoft still hosts the download for Games for Windows Live on their official website. You can actually find this by searching up Games for Windows Live download on Google. Also leave a link to the direct download down in the description and you'll find a go.microsoft.com FW link. This is a direct download link. All you have to do is click on this link and it will immediately ask you to download Games for Windows Live on your PC. So I suggest sending it to your downloads folder for ease of access. Just hit save and it should only take a second to download. So go ahead and open up your downloads folder. And all you have to do is double click the Games for Windows Live setup. That'll open up the Microsoft Games for Windows Live installer. We go ahead and click yes for allowing it to make changes to our device. And it's going to go ahead and check if all those things are installed. And if they're not, it's going to install it. Once it's done, it'll say install success. Microsoft Games for Windows Live is installed. To launch the client now, click launch. We don't need to do that. We can go ahead and click close. Now, the moment of truth. All we have to do is then go back to our follow three, double click on the follow three.exe, and bam, the game launches. That is how you fix the xlive.dll error for follow three. There's many other issues with this game, but I wanted to share how to fix this specific one. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please smack that like button down below. Subscribe, join the good fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.